name's Logan Hine. I'm a graphic and web designer from Prairie Sheen, Wisconsin. Uh, well, it's actually my second time around at Southwest Tech. I was here five years ago for the uh, welding program. And I spent a little bit of time doing some trade work um, and it wasn't really what I wanted it to be. And I knew that I kind of liked problem solving and uh, being creative in that sense. And I used to walk past the classroom all the time, actually, when I first attended Southwest Tech. And I always thought, man, it'd be cool to be in that room. So it really didn't click until later, uh, until I was 24, 25, and I decided to come back for graphic web design. I mean, there's so much to talk about. We've done so much in the last two years that we've been here. Um, you know, one of the projects that I'm really excited about that we just finished up was this big branding project. And so my brand for that was this thing called Upcycle. And so all of us kind of got to create each of our own individual projects right, and kind of establish who that business was, who the client was, the tone and voice of all that. And so uh, I, I kind of came up with the idea that Upcycle was this furniture builder and restorer, and they kind of use uh, recycled materials or upcycled materials to produce these pieces. And um, so we got to animate a logo, we got to develop a product guide for that, we also got to develop some packaging, and then uh, the last thing we did was develop an app as well. I mean, there's really nothing I don't think I didn't enjoy. Um, you know, my instructors were great the whole way through. They could have answered anything we had ever asked them. Um, you know, and all of my classmates, um, we all really came together as a group. And I felt like everyone really was very amicable and we all provided really good feedback and critiques to each other. And, you know, that kind of made for a, a good team experience and kind of set everybody up. I feel like everyone came out with some really nice, like finished, uh, polished, uh, final pieces. Yeah. Long term, I would like to be an art director. That That's kind of the dream job, right? Um, you know, short term, uh, right now I'm just freelancing and I'm applying to some things, hoping to look at a firm and maybe kind of support that, uh, my freelancing on the side. Um, but, you know, if it pans out that long term, I could get a job somewhere at a firm where I am working as an art director or something like that. That's, yeah, really the goal. So. Uh, my name's Zach Stewart. I'm from Potosi. I haven't lived there my entire life. Uh, just passed from high school up till now. As a young kid, I was always coloring on my grandma's floor or um, as as the kids used to do. Uh, we had the little like uh, watercolors and stuff. I would use those as well. But I always loved creating with my hands, making stuff. Uh, for the longest time, I wanted to be an engineer. I thought that's what I wanted, um, but I just like making things and I feel like design is the best way to do that. I also love animation, that's my passion as well. Uh, I love how people in animation, you see the comments on YouTube videos or stuff all the time, how uh, this animation or this person has changed my life for the better and that's kind of who I aspire to be. I want to be someone who creates to change people's lives pretty much. I really enjoyed hanging out with everybody. That's probably my favorite part. Uh, the instructors were really nice, really accommodating. Uh, my classmates were so fun to be around. There was uh, points where I was like, I really wish I was at school right now this weekend instead of working all the time. We're gonna see uh, mainly my branding project we did, which was uh, pretty much our last project. It was a 17 week project. Uh, they're going to see a music video, a couple music videos maybe. Um, they're going to see a lot of a lot of Adobe products, so uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects. Uh, After Effects was mainly my favorite. It's a lot of video editing and video creation software. I actually have a couple art styles that I really pull inspiration from, but mainly when I'm thinking of a project or working in a project, I pull a lot of inspiration from music. Uh, so if I'm listening to a song or listening to a music video, I like to pull like uh, color schemes from music videos or just the overall feel, the emotion from a music video. I really like music. I'm trying my hardest to get a professional job, but it's not gonna, it's just to get my foot in the door basically. It's not gonna be something I wanna do, but it's gonna be something that I can do to get work experience so I can do what I want to do in the future. Hi, uh, my name is Rowan Nordrift and I'm from Schulzburg, Wisconsin. I can actually appreciate the design processes behind um, a lot of things like advertisements, logos, 
um, a lot of branding that you'd see in companies like Netflix, a lot of those things. I, lear I learned how to animate, which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, overall, the atmosphere was very chill. The instructors are great, highly recommended. Oh, you're gonna see bits of pretty much everything I've done here. Um, there are a couple of things that are not in there, but you're gonna see the diversity posters that are hanging up out there. You're gonna see um, my branding project and some of the things I did for that. You're gonna see my magazine, my stickers. Um, you're gonna see some of my personal pieces in my lyric videos as well, so I hope you enjoy that. I wouldn't say it's all that difficult for me. I write down all the kinds of things I want to include in the finished product, I suppose. Um, I make sketches of how the layout is going to be. I make a couple of different versions of that. I then start to get to work and I go for it. <laughs> for right now, I'm sticking around here just so I'm, I'm looking for a remote opportunity. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Sobeck. I'm from Fenimore and I am a second year at the Graphic and Web Design Program. In the Graphic and Web Design Program I chose because graphic design is very uh, diverse and um, I've been a graphic designer um, kind of on the side as a freelance for a few years and wanted to really dive into the knowledge and I've been a fine arts artist for about 20 years so uh, this is just right up my alley and I really love the neighborhood. <laughs> the instructors Katie and Aaron have been amazing and the community at the college in general it's been really friendly really inviting and accommodating so I've had a lot of things happen in the last two years personally, and so they've, they've helped me through everything, and it's been uh, an amazing experience. So a lot of mine is accidentally nature. <laughs> so for over the last two years, we've had to do several different projects. Um, on, my, on my table in my booth, there's going to be my Adventure Aviation. Uh, that was a branding project that we had to do for one of our classes. Adventure Aviation is something that, uh, it's a company that I made up that's based out of Alaska, it's a tourism company, so you're going to see um, an, um, an app, um, kind of like a prototype, you're going to see a travel uh, magazine, you're going to see a brochure, um, mailers, things like that. I also have a few different of my portfolio, I have like examples of photography and layouts, magazine layouts, business cards. Um, lyrical videos and I work in the marketing department so I have some examples of some of the stuff that I have on the outdoor sign as well. Um, so my plans right after graduation, um, I've got a few freelance jobs lined up that I'm going to be working. I am currently looking for a potentially remote job or uh, something that I can work from home with some flexibility. I, I hope to be in the next five years in the area, I have a lot of family in the area but I also hope to be in a position that I can be stable and, you know, live the dream. You know, like family, friends, house, you know, just kind of live my best life. That's what I'm hoping in the next five, 10 years. Hi, my name is Keegan Hawkinson and I'm from Seneca, Wisconsin. Uh, a lot of my stuff is just very um, brand heavy. A lot of it is very modern designs. Uh, I have a little bit of automotive stuff, automotive photography, things like that. I do have a couple different magazines and just little booklets, cool stuff like that. Some of the things that I'm going to take away from the class itself is uh, the teamwork and collaboration that you get from here. Oh, it's super awesome and upbeat. I would really recommend it if you're looking into graphic and web design to come here. The teachers are great, the students are great, and the faculty is awesome. In five to ten years, I'm hoping to be in some kind of automotive field designing for a bigger brand. Um, for now, I'm just going to try to keep it on the down low and just kind of try to do things myself. So maybe find some smaller job in a littler town for now and then move on to bigger things later. My name is Jacob Muller and I am from the Richland Center region. I'm definitely going to take away like everything that we've learned, all the programs. Uh, I really enjoy being really hands-on with all the programs that we use. Um, Another thing that I really love and that I'm going to take away is the friendships here. Um, that's something that I'll carry with me forever. A lot of my uh, booth has um, my GWD projects uh, project that I did. It's a Mulligan Golf Co. It's a fictitious company that I created. Um, I, have, I have a few of those. I have a few items from that on there. And uh, I also have some photography and my resume and um, where you can find me and research me a little bit. Where finding inspiration comes from with that project, that was that was really something that we could do um, whatever we wanted. So that's something that really kind of, I've always thought about 
something like that. And uh, so it was really cool to be able to draw inspiration from different golf companies and incorporate that into mine and uh, see where that went, led. Right after graduation, I'm gonna start full-time at um, a store in Richmond Center, Graphic Signs and, or Greeley Signs and Graphics, LLC, sorry. Um, I'm gonna be working there full-time, hopefully get some experience there. And um, you know, if, if the time seems right, I might move on to a bigger company, um, bigger incorporation that I can do a little bit more with and uh, have a lot more experience with. Hi, I'm Katie Hennerman. I'm from Potosi, Wisconsin. Uh, something I enjoyed from this program is meeting all of the like-minded people and being able to create every day. I have a variety of things you can see in my area tonight, including t-shirt designs, a music lyric video, and some photography. I really enjoy creating the t-shirt designs. I feel like I'm more adept at uh, that kind of design. I hope to find a job probably in marketing, um, maybe t-shirt design. My name is Kayla Rice and I'm originally from Lancaster, Wisconsin. I really enjoyed the teachers and the classmates and the whole design process itself. Like learning about graphic and web design, expanding my creativity. Um, it was a great place to learn new things. And one thing I would take away from this is um, just to have fun with your stuff, like have fun with it. And if you, you want to go for something you really love, like, this is what I love, so that's what I would take away from it. So for my uh, portfolio show, I'm going to have my branding project out, which we did in our branding class with Erin. And it will be my Moy Beauty, and it's a whole brand. We started from the logo to the uh, animated, animated logo to like the whole brand itself. So you pretty much created your own company, and that's what I did. Um, that's what's going to be shown, some of my photography, some of my um, After Effects skills are going to be shown as well. T-shirts, a lot of t-shirts I made. So for my creative process, um, obviously I start Pinterest. <laughs> that's where I go, I go to Pinterest sometimes and uh, research the like, so I did a beauty brand, so I researched beauty, other beauty brands and how they did their things, how they did their logos, how they promoted their logos or their company. And that's what I did. I started from there and then worked my way up into my own. That's also how I did the logos. I found a really simple one that was perfect for me. I hope to have a really good job. <laughs> I hope to have fun with my job as well. Um, yeah, that just create a stable future for me doing what I love.